you know. So for the people who don't know, Altoff came out and played the Atlanta PPA with Austin Gridley, and he took out at least two premier players, four challenger players. I think he destroyed Travis and Julian. Sorry, sorry to Travis and Julian to have to bring that up, but I mean the guy is just he made his presence felt. So I guess first off, how did that tournament go for you? And, and walk us through that. Well, first off, James, when I get up in the morning, I make my presence felt. Okay, <laughs> me driving the car to the courts, I make my presence felt. So you've been around me long enough to know. You know when Althoff's in the building. You know oh, yeah. when I'm in the house. <laughs> oh um, yeah. You know, I got to tell you. Um, it was you were a big part of the motivation for the weekend because you've been texting me since Monday. I'm sitting here with Brandon Long, and he's gonna beat you guys one and one. And <laughs> Matt Wright's gonna bet three hundred dollars, and you guys had all these butterfly spreads and all these kinds of weird things going on. And I go, listen, if I can get my man Gridley to have a good night's rest, be ready to go, have his famous Google shirt on, we're ready to rock, you know, <laughs> and. I got to tell you, Gridley, uh, Austin, we played in Beer City last year, and we played incredible. We had a great tournament, but we had a really bad last match. And Austin has been bothering me for a year now. It took me like six months to even unblock him, okay? He's been <laughs> bothering me for a year now, and he goes, Altaf, I promise you I could do this. Give me one more chance. And I mean, Austin's amazing. He's a great guy, but he was fired up. Um, I was the match that kind of escaped under the radar, you know, Sincola Long is a battle. We've played them so many times. I've played John so many times. Brandon's a street fighter, and I love these guys. But the match that was under the radar was Scarpa and Dow. And yeah. those guys were up like 14-8 on us. Oh, yeah. And the Gridler, he just tried to do this weird karate kid, you know, taking balls from his ankles, spinning stuff. Dow was looking at me like, what's happening? And I'm like, please don't call a timeout. Please don't call a timeout. Nobody shout. Don't wake up, Gridley. We won 16-14. <laughs> and the only thing I did in that match at 15-14, I hit a put away. And I grunted. And if you saw that put away, you thought I won the match. But Gridley carried us. And I'm telling you right now, that was the match that we played awesome. Um, Travis and Julian was a good match. They just lost to Matt and Riley. So I got to put that disclaimer out there. You play on center court. You come back down. They had a little bit of a letdown. And I just told Austin, I go, please be quiet. Don't say a single word at all. Put them to sleep. They, they're going to have an emotional letdown. Let's make sure they get underground with their emotions. And after the match, I don't care if you scream, if, you can, if they can hear you all the way to Chattanooga. I don't care. But don't say a word till the match is over. And Austin played that to a T. He was quiet, didn't say a word. But, but yeah, it, it was great. And I played some rec with you that weekend. And uh, played some with your sister. What a fun weekend! Love the Atlanta PPA. Yeah, that was that was impressive. You know, it's funny. I had Greg Dow on my podcast like a couple weeks ago, and I asked him, I was like, "What happened?" Because I heard they were up fourteen eight, and he told me he's like, "The Gridler got hot," and I couldn't even conceptualize the Gridler getting. I didn't even know what he was saying, but I guess I guess that's true. The Gridler's got hot three times in his life. Once against Greg Dow. Last year, Beer City, first round. James, mm -hmm. not kidding. Ryler and Rafa against Gridler and Alta. It's a toss-up <laughs> at best. We win like one and one. Oh my and I think, God. We, I think Rafa made like three bad calls to get two points. Okay? Wow. One for a side <laughs> out. Or maybe he made four bad calls. I don't know. But it was like one and one. And Rafa was like looking at me like, what's Gridler doing? And then, of course, <laughs> you know, when he took down Ben and Colin Johns. I mean, Gridler's had three amazing matches. I had no idea. Yeah, somebody had told me that like a month ago that he beat Ben and Colin. And I just didn't, I thought that was a joke. But no, oof. not only did he beat Ben and Colin, not only did he beat Ben and Colin, that's one thing. You know, Philip Lockley beat Ben and Colin. Philip yeah. Lockley won the match, it was very quiet. I saw him the next week. He's like, All Top, how's it going? You want to play some rec? Griddler beats Ben and Colin and then makes a video on how to beat Ben and Colin. <laughs> I mean, that's the Griddler. That's hilarious. <laughs>